Hi friends, Marin with Intu Mobile. We're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Nexus for Verizon. 4G LTE uh, first ice cream sandwich phone. And for the, we're going to take a look at the software for those of you who haven't seen it before. So, um, first of all, we'll go into the settings. You notice there's some revamped stuff there. We'll dive into that in a minute. Give your about phone, Android 4.0.2. And then that's a little Easter egg. Cute. And then brings that up. They can go flying, but we don't have time for that. Going back to the home screen, you notice there's a little bit of the honeycomb user interface uh, aesthetics. So you have that holographic display or feel when you get there, five home screens. This is a folder where you can drag these out or you can drag two together, create a folder, you know, kind of like iOS, but I like the way it's done a little bit better just because you can have a better look at what you're doing there. Maps has been enhanced a bit. Notice at the top, you know, the fragments, sort of the, the honeycomb mistake brought down to the phone. And, well, it's not the honeycomb aesthetic. It's now the ice cream sandwich aesthetic. So that makes sense. Your... See, even the notification bar has been, has been tweaked. Now you can just dismiss things by swiping to the left very useful. Another useful tip just pretty much for for me but for a lot of people is if you hold down the down volume and the power you can screenshot. I don't know how useful that's going to be in your everyday life but for me that's perfect for putting on you know for demonstrating software tricks and tips. The, the people app people hub has been revamped now, normally it'll pull in their pictures from, Fa or not from Facebook, but from, you know, Google Plus and some other services. I'm not going to dive into these people because it's going to show their information. But you have your picture here. You have your, you have your uh, other contact information as well. I didn't show you the lock screen. I shouldn't. Uh, this one has the pin on it. This one has a pin on it because if you notice, there's a device device policy management app here. Uh, what we didn't see with the international version, which we're seeing on the Google, on the on the Verizon version, is this more stringent enterprise features. So I'm trying to get my Intu Mobile email on here, and we use Google Apps, and it wouldn't let me just sign in directly and get it on there without putting on this device policy management app. Uh, it's kind of a pain for me, but in, if you're really serious about your mobile security and your device management, that's it's a good thing. What else do we have here? In the settings, you also have your a new data usage monitor. It becomes more important as you, you know, as more and more companies create data caps on it. But you've seen this if you've seen our coverage of the international version. What's important about this is it comes with 4G LTE. We're not at full bars, but 4G LTE on Verizon in San Francisco is pretty darn good. So let's run a couple speed tests and see how we do. And like 11 down. Eleven down, three up. And keep in mind we're still on half or we're still on half the bars. We'll go one more test. pretty consistent. Not sure, we're not sure what this is going to do to the battery life so far, so I'm going to play with this over the next couple days 
and that's 12 down and six up or six up not bad and look at some of the results only ran a couple but pretty consistently high download speed so that's great like I said, want to make want to see what it does to the battery life over the long haul because I don't care how fast your phone is, if it dies, you know, within a couple hours, then it's useless. Camera has also been revamped. UI is there. You also have your um, or let's dive into this first. You can edit it. You can share it. That's not a very you can throw on filters. That actually looks cooler than I thought it would. You can crop, red eye, rotate, straighten, flip. Play with the settings there. Let's save that. So that's neat. It's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of hubbub about apps like Instagram. And even though they're not on here, having this built in directly to the phone and the camera app, pretty neat. And then let's go back. Oops. Well, if I want to hop back to it, you hit this multitasking button, and like in Honeycomb, it brings up your recently opened apps. Very smooth, very clean. Uh, lastly, I'm going to show you the panorama mode and the photo. We've seen this before in a lot of phones, but now that it's built into, now that it's built directly into the platform. It's, it's pretty neat, which because it also opens up the door for developers to create cool apps when this is the baseline, even if it is Android 4.0, but potentially, you know, it could lead to a lot of cool things. Yeah, exciting stuff. So that's Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Thanks for watching. We'll have a full review for you shortly.